not going to take long anyway. It's too sticky. Uh. Morning, Holly. Here we are. We coming. What are beans? Ah, yeah, buddies. Get the grubber off here, and then put the discs on. That'll do it. Morning. Not a very nice day today. Well, it's okay at the moment. Quite cold, east wind, but it's to get wetter later. So. What we're doing right now is going to go and sow the wee patch of sunflowers that I grubbed yesterday. Just deciding a few bits out here. This end we're going to re sow and um, just put a lot of slug pressure off the grass. And then all of the tulip ground. Don't know if it's too windy for you. The bulk of the field looks absolutely great. Look at all the sunflowers. But down that end rig, a lot of slug pressure from the grass. This end rig's all right though. And then the tulip ground is obviously getting sunflowers as well. But yeah, bulk of the field, rowing up, loads of them. Absolutely top notch, really happy with them at the moment. Saying that, the forecast is rain for the next while, so we'll see how they look after that. But at this stage, they look fine. There's Kev pulled up with the drill. A wee bit of weed pressure in this section, because there was beds formed, extra beds for tulips, but we just didn't really get this far. That was straight, plow straight plowed left over the winter. This was ridged up for the tulips, then grubbed, then disc level, then sown. As you can see, there's totally different weed pressure. Complete seam between less weed pressure where it was just plowed and left for the winter and where it was ridged up, disc and grubbed. As long as the sunflowers just get above the weeds, it'll be, it'll be fine. This is the end rig. You can see there's sunflowers there but the density is just way smaller because they've been nibbled, nibbled by slugs. There we go. This, this wee bit, this the end rig. You can see it's steaming up in here. Subscribe. Go on, subscribe. Hey Doug. Rain's not come yet, but it is coming. It's not going to take long anyway. That's me done. I'm going to put the rollers on though and roll it. Kev's just, he's just about finished where the tulips were and he'll do the centric. Oh no, he is, he is finished where the tulips are. Rain's drizzling away, so hopefully it's not too sticky with the rollers here. Mm, don't know what it'll be like. I've not connected up the hydraulics for the paddles or for the actual folding of the roller because it's still not been fixed. So the hydraulics, one, I'm not using the paddles, and two, I can't fold it up anyway. Ian probably didn't think his digger would be in the way there, but he probably didn't realise we've got a knackered set of rollers. It's not really in the way, but ideally I'd be off the grass, but not that big a deal. The crows, look at the damn things. Bandits. It is just verging on being too sticky. Oh, it's too sticky. It's too sticky. It's too sticky, I'm not gonna roll it. Damn it. The end rig will probably be okay because it's just been, it's not had as much rain on it. It's slightly better, but I probably shouldn't be rolling it. Yeah, but yeah. The tulip bit, I've not managed to roll. The end rig, I've rolled, but where I should have, I don't know. Done, done, done. Ten past nine, and we've got that patch fixed, sewn, and semi rolled. Tiny patch, that is. Just been playing again with the magic box, the secret box. Find out in a while. 
It's soaking now. Absolutely miserable. Guess what this means? Hen shed washing time. with bags to keep them waterproof so they don't get soaked and wrecked. I'll just get started power washing. Can you hear me? Probably not. Rubbish job. This doesn't go too well with filming, so I'll try my best, but you'll not see too much. But we're just power washing our shed at the end of the day. Just brought another IBC down, topped off with beds off. Keep going. I just snipped out for a wee breather and... Scapey Highland Coo, brilliant. Just what you love to see. Ah. Can you see there? I hope so. Right, they're in. Back to power washing. Fed up already. It's later. I've had a shower. I don't stink anymore. Good work. Anyway, yeah, it's probably just going to be a really short video today because I didn't get too much. Not really too much to film when I'm power washing a shed all day. So we've got a fair amount done though. That's half of the main shed done. Um, and we did the scratching there the other day. So we've got another half of the shed to go. So we should get it all wiped out tomorrow. Actually, maybe be spraying tomorrow. So. Next time we go at it, we should get it wiped out in a winter. I think we've had about 10 to 12 mil of rain today. Could do with drying up. Plenty of moisture kicking about anyway, that's for sure. Had questions about Euro, so Euro will be going out in about a week's time to the cows out in this field. 20 odd cows out there. I'll give you a peek, see what they've been doing up here. I heard the blowtorch today, so they're obviously sealing down the felt top. Hopefully we'll get some lights on. There we go. Quite professional up here. It's quite professional up here actually. You could have a wee home gym here. I'm right at the apex and there's, uh, there's probably two foot of gap in there. That's one beam down. There you go, geez. That is an interesting thing. So they must lay this down. Whoa, what's going on here? I'm not sure what the theory is with this stuff. Someone will know, put it down below why there's holes in it all. And then this uh, cap sheet will get put on top. Use a heat gun, melts it. It's kind of like tar type stuff. Melts it and then it'll bond together a wee bit. All these edges have been done. And then this sheet's going on the top. Just to protect it from any drips of condensation in this tin roof. You jump over a wee bit onto this surface and this is all insulated. So these are all insulation panels. These wee brackets hold them down, both, both. Nice and neat and tidy. Therma TR24, whatever that means. But these go on top of the Kingspan. Possibly just so this can get laying on top. I'm not too sure why they go for that. Then this, dual insulation. Don't know why, but anyway, there'll be a theory to it. Everything's just to be lined and I think that's possibly it. Done up here. That's what's up in that hole. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, we've not a question. What question? Let's do a Scottish word. We'll go for bleather. What does bleather mean? Have a guess.